release tomorrow on October 11th. I'm hoping that's when it's actually going to come out. Not really quite sure, but it definitely should. Quick reminder, subscribe, join the quad squad if you guys haven't already. We're working our way up to 140,000 subs and click that like button. Thumbs up this vid. So what we're going to be talking about is, is basically the main reason that you guys are here. I already got all the footage for it. It's actually the revised and redone version of DE Inferno is now official, officially available in the beta and it should be open to the pub. I mean, it's open to the public now, but open to the majority of the public, meaning like it'll actually be completely back in the main rotation for the active duty group uh, not really if that makes that big of a difference in my opinion it's more of a question whether this is actually going to be allowed in the pro league and actually the whatever like ECS and, and all those leagues it's actually going to be pretty cool to be honest because right now they actually if you don't know they dropped that inferno it's not really a pro wide played map they replaced it for nuke and I believe they're going to replace it back with nuke again to take nuke out of the rotation not 100% positive I, I've heard that the entire community doesn't really know yet but in my opinion I would definitely take out nuke and put back in Inferno. Nuke is my least favorite map. I'm absolutely awful on it. But we're going to have footage of the entire brand new DE Inferno. But first off, let's cover the rest of the update. Not a huge update. Well, it is actually a really big update. I'm kind of underestimating it. And again, it will be out tomorrow if you guys are watching this on, a on the 10th. So first off of the maps, you know, new Inferno came out. You guys will see that in a second. For the gameplay, they added a 0.4 second cooldown to the crouch button to reduce the visual noise from spamming crouch in the air. So recently with all the updates, Valve has really been paying attention to the crouch spammers and just crouch in general. So that's spamming a lot, not messing up a lot. So they fixed that. There is also a tunable via, this is also tunable via Convar SV underscore time between ducks in console they also fixed the case where players crouch the crouch state did not match the state of the plus duck key the most noticeable the most noticeable case was when taking over a bot that was crouching so that would mean yeah, you guys probably had that glitch if you played cs at all recently where you would spawn into a bot if one of your teammates left or got disconnected and you would automatically be crouching obviously you didn't spawn into the bot crouching nobody does that but they fixed that now they also adjust the bomb plant animation when planting the bomb while already crouched next up they fixed a bug where molotovs and incendiary grenades did not generate flames when they exploded on the corner of a ledge yeah they didn't generate flames but they would hurt you i remember i can't probably three three or four times i've died because somebody has mollied me out and i jumped up on the box and i didn't know that it was covered in flames and it was kind of like invisible flames really fucking annoying but they fixed that now so thankfully that's cool valve's been really good about fixing all this glitches and shit like that damn dude they're pumping out updates like crazy and I love it. So the next thing is they reduce the view model rotational effect when pointing a weapon at near vertical angles. Not really quite sure how much that's going to affect you guys, but that's cool. Another glitch fixed. For the Xbox game DVR, they added a performance recommendation for Windows 10 users explaining how to disable game DVR if it is enabled, so you can disable that. For the user interface and the UI, sniper scopes are now much more responsive to your actual accuracy. The blur is driven by your current inaccuracy. Note, there are no gameplay changes to scoped accuracy. The display now more correctly represents your current inaccuracy. Next up, the crosshair blur fidelity has been improved. For the next one, new console variable, CL underscore crosshair, underscore sniper, underscore show, underscore normal, underscore inaccuracy is set to default zero. It also includes standing accuracy and the spread in your sniper crosshair blur. I believe somebody posted uh, on some, I, I don't know if I'm right, but I saw a video where you could like supposedly use this on LAN to improve your accuracy with, I, I don't know how fucking true that is, whatever. That's there now, so cool. <laughs> in the miscellaneous section, they have gameplay convars for community servers and workshop maps, weapon air spread scale, games that focus on air combat, like minigame servers and stuff like that, can set this to a lower, lower value to improve weapon accuracy for players in the air. That's pretty cool. I wish they had that a while ago. That's fun to mess around with. The next one you guys are going to love if you love playing on B-Hop servers, SV underscore enable bunny hopping disables the air velocity clamping to 110% of maximum running speed. And the next one is SV underscore auto bunny hopping, holding plus jump, ho holding jump causes players to automatically rejump at the exact landing tick so you can do this offline or in a random server where SV cheats one is actually enabled and you guys can now auto bunny hop so that's really fucking cool you guys are gonna love that rumor has it there will be a big screenshot dump of the inferno <laughs> brand new inferno which you guys don't really need because I'm about to show you the entire map with video that is also linked well that will be in the video but this post is also linked down in the description below and if you guys want to opt in it does teach you how to right click on CSGO in your Steam library then go to properties then to the betas tab then select 1.35.5.3 RC. There you go. Plain and simple. If you're really looking how to do it, there's a way better explanation on the post. So versus me just saying, all right, that's enough. That's the entire update that we'll be releasing tomorrow. This again was the pre-release update for October 11th, 2016. 
Now to the good shit, boys. Now to the tour of the brand new Inferno. It's been your boy Quadum FT. I'm going to stay silent. I'm just going to cut off my voice. I'm not going to commentate over the entire Inferno just because I figured you guys would rather just look at it than hear my annoying voice. Simple, right? I'm probably right. I hope I am. <laughs> Subscribe. You guys already know. It's been your boy Quad. If you guys made it till this point in the video, go down in the comment section below and comment Desert Eagle. Go ahead down in the comment section below and comment Deagle if you guys want to. It's been your boy Quad. I'm out 5,000. I'll see you fudging later. Peace out.
counter-terrorists win.